What's up developers and welcome back to a new video where we're going to set up our Visual Studio Code to get the most out of our Symfony experience. Quick pause, do you want to support the channel and want me to continue on creating content? You can support the channel on Patreon right now where you get benefits such as a private Discord group where you can share your coding issues and other developers will help you out. If you are interested to join, the link will be in the description down below. Once you want to work with a framework such as Symfony, you need to make sure that you set up your code editor in the right way. In this tutorial, we're going to use Visual Studio Code since it's free, it's super easy to add extensions to, and it makes your experience a lot better. I'm on a Mac right now, and I won't be creating a video on how you can set up Visual Studio Code on Windows or Linux, because honestly, it's the exact same software system, but the buttons might be at another place. At the moment, I'm on code.visualstudio.com, which is the official website of Visual Studio Code, which I will link in the description down below. And you'll see that I have a call to action button right here, where I can download Visual Studio Code for Mac. This button will change based on the operating system you're using. If you have Windows, it will probably say something along the lines of download it for Windows. Once you click on download, make sure that you install it, and I'll see you back once it's done. Alright, as you can see right now, I've got Visual Studio Code open and the interface looks pretty straightforward. But, there's always a but, my colors are probably different than yours. That can be changed with something which is called an extension. With an extension, you can simply add stuff like languages, debuggers and tools that will support your development flow. So first things first, let's install an extension that will change the interface of our code editor. When you want to install an extension, you need to access the extensions market which can be done through the sidebar right here, where you need to click on the four squares. Right here, you will probably see some extensions that I have installed that you don't have. Which is alright, because I've deleted all my Symfony and PHP related extensions, so we can download them together. Now the first extension that we're going to install is called Community Material Team. Community Material Team, which is the first one, is an extension that allows you to change the colors of your interface. Let me make my panel a little bit smaller. All right. Now I've already got it installed, so let me actually uninstall it. All right. It changed the interface. Click on install. And the drop down menu has appeared right now with some themes that you can choose from. I personally like to work with the community material theme darker high contrast because it doesn't hurt my eyes that much, which is the same that I had before. I want to start up with PHP extensions because Symfony is obviously based on PHP. So we need to make sure that we got our PHP extensions set up correctly. I'm also going to open a Symfony test project. So once we install an extension, I can show you what the extension allows you to do. So let me do that. Let's open a folder. It's on my desktop workspace and it's a Symfony course name. Now the second extension that we're going to install is called PHP Intelli sense. It's the second one which is created by Ben Milburn. So let's click on install. This extension boosts your productivity because it does code completion, parameter help, find references, symbol searchers and way more. As you can see it has been installed so let me navigate to the explorer. And I've got a data movies controller file so let me open it. You probably don't have it so don't worry about it. Now let's scroll down to right below our public function index. And what we can do right now is to write down PUB. And you can already see that it recognizes what we want to write down, which is public. So it gives us an opportunity to auto complete the text. Let's hit enter. And as you can see, public has been printed out. Now let me remove it, save it, open the extensions market. Now the next extension is called PHP doc space comment. It's the first one created by Rex Xi. Let's install it. In coding, and specifically in Symfony, you'll be needing to add PHP doc blocks. This extension allows you to automatically create it for a function, variable, or a class. So let me navigate back to the code, and let's open the movies controller again, and scroll up. And right here, we have a public function index. Now let's select it, including, whoops, the route, now what we can do next is to right click on it and we can add PHP doc blocks, but it also has a shortcut, which is way easier. So let's escape it, press the shift button, command button with the I. If you're not familiar with PHP docs, this might look like a comment section, but it's a bit different when it comes to Symfony because we've just added PHP doc blocks, which you'll get to understand better later on. 
but you can define things right here that are related to your controller, even routes. All right, now let's open the extensions market again. And let's add the next one, which is called PHP namespace resolver. Honestly, this is a pretty cool one because it allows us to resolve namespaces and add them inside the use statement of our file. It's the first one created by Mehdi Hassan. So let's install it. Let's open our movies controller again. And if we scroll up, you'll see that we have a couple use statements right here. What we're doing right here is basically pulling in the response class, the route class, and the abstract controller. These are all being used inside the class that we have as well. As you can see, movies controller is extending the abstract controller, which is coming from this line of code. Now let's delete the abstract controller use statement, and it's throwing us an error right here. So what we can do is to remove it and write down abstract controller. And right here, you can see that we can pull it in and it's also pulling in the use statement. So let's click on it. And as you can see, the use statement of our abstract controller is back. Now Symfony is a framework that uses HTML, but inside a template engine called Twig. So let's focus on some extensions that we can use for our front end components. The first one is a simple one, which you probably have installed called HTML snippets. This extension allows you to add full HTML snippets. It's the first one created by Mohammed Abu Said. Let's install it. I'm not going to show this one because it kind of speaks for itself because you can make HTML snippets. Now let's do the same thing for our JavaScript. So let's search for JavaScript. It's the first one created by Charalampos Karipidis. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing your name right. Now, just like the HTML snippets, it allows you to add code snippets for JavaScript and ES6 syntax. When working with the Twig templating engine, we need to make sure that we add the extension called Symfony Code Snippets. Now let's scroll down because I can't see it. All right, it's this one created by Nadim al Abdoui. Let's install it. And what this extension allows us to do is to use more than 100 Symfony code snippets. And as you can see, it also supports Twig. Now let me show it to you. Let me go back to my code and I have a template folder where I store views right here. Let's open the base.html.twig. And don't worry, we will be learning all these weird file names later on. I just want to show you what it does, so just bear with me. If we then go, let's say inside our body, write down block and hit tab, you'll see that a Twig block has been created for us, which is incredible because this is so much work to write yourself. Now let me undo it, save it and close off the file and let's open the extensions market again. Now there's a pretty fun extension called Symfony for VS Code. Now it's the first extension and I completely forgot to uninstall it, but this extension helps you to develop your project much faster because it provides auto completion of your Symfony container. Now I can't really test this out right now, so let's search for another one, which is called Twig. It's the first one. It has been created by what we do. And as you can see in the left panel, let's actually install it. You'll see that we have a lot more Twig options in the market. So let's also install Twig Language 2 and this one, which is Twig Language. These extensions help you with syntax highlighting, snippets, emit, formatting, hovering, and IntelliSense. Next to all these PHP and Symfony extensions, there are some helpers for Visual Studio Code. So let's install these as well. The one I personally love is called VS Code. Create icons. It's created by Emmanuel Beziat. And what this extension will do is adding an icon of the file extension right in front of your file name. This is super handy because it allows you to see what type of file you're working with. Right now, it also has it, but I just don't like these icons. So let's install it. Let's enable it. And as you can see, we have just added new icons and even for our folders. The next extension is called bracket pair colorizer. Since we're going to work with a lot of brackets of classes, methods, conditional statements, and loops, we got to make sure that we match brackets with a specific color. And that's what bracket pair colorizer created by Kunrad does. So let's install it. And let's add another one as well, which is called Emmet Live. 
Now Emmet is installed by default in Visual Studio Code. But Emmet Live expands your Emmet abbreviation dynamically while you're typing, which is pretty cool. So let's install this one created by Yuri Semanyuk. And that's it. I think that these extensions are must-haves in Visual Studio Code. We will definitely run into situations where we need to add another one here and there, but this is a very good starting point when working with Symfony. That being said, this was it for this video where we went over all necessary extensions to get the most out of our Symfony experience. If you do like my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up, and if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.